Hi beautiful! Today we're doing a Mondo makeover and I'm so excited because it's with my good friend Melissa, also known as Chunky's Dead, also rebranding her name soon so wait for that. She's crazy, she's wild, she's beautiful and I cannot wait to get my hands on her hair. She has never professionally colored her hair before so this is gonna be a dramatic change. Let's do it. Hi Melissa. Hi Brad. <laughs> it's well, so good no. to see you. <laughs> I'm glad you could make it today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was only like an hour late. I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. I literally just woke up. I haven't brushed my teeth. Um, I feel crazy and I'm just like sweaty and I'm just and I'm wearing a straight jacket. So oh, yeah. you're alive, girl. You're alive. Dude, yeah, I'm more alive than most people. This is actually me tired. So <laughs> you did your affirmations. Yeah, I did my affirmations. I like used to I um, love myself. <laughs> <laughs> I have this okay, so I have like a three-page affirmation doc because if I didn't tell myself for three minutes straight, I love myself. I love myself, I love myself, then I wouldn't. I used to think that like mindfulness or whatever and and yoga and like I don't know all that shit, I was just like I don't need that I'm better like I'm j like that's too feelsy all these people are in their feels and now like every morning I wake up and I'm desperately clutching to my three page google doc being like today I will choose how I feel pain and inevitable oh pain is suffering is optional <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more about that later yeah we'll get more into that. <laughs> yeah or never if you guys don't know who Melissa is she's amazing comedic content creator that's how you explain yourself. I basically say that I'm a force to be reckoned with. Uh, my name in Chinese literally means brute force. I'm an artist. I used to work for Google. Uh, got internet famous in the pandemic or whatever and now I'm just saying all my intrusive thoughts in various art forms. It's time to tell me what's going on. I see that it's lightened. Just know that I am saying this with a heart full of shame <laughs> and regret. <laughs> um, last summer I was just like, okay, I want my hair to be lighter because like last year I was doing a whole like I'm gonna be tan and have like golden brown hair hair and I want to be like this like tan goddess and now I'm like doing the total opposite where I just want to be a vampire. So we have sun in here which is, might make it a little bit difficult to lighten but we'll see. And then we also have some some damage on the ends you know just mm -hmm. a little bit of crispiness. It's feeling a little rough to the touch outside. Yeah so no gonna, I'm embarrassed. With uh, a little haircut. Okay so what are you comfortable with cutting? I would prefer to um it's kind of like a guy's size probably use as little as possible but if it's gonna cost me my life. Great sounds good. <laughs> um okay then we're gonna try and get you light in order to put the pink on. We also just came out with a new color called Vortalite, which is like extremely bright, gorgeous, like cool pink. And I really want to do it on you today. Fuck yeah. So, I want it. Okay, good. I want that. I give it so to me. Excited. We're gonna give you this nice. I'm like, literally already bent over. We're, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna give it like a lived in moment though with the lightness. Like I, okay. I want you to be able to maintain it easily. So I don't want to go all the way up to your root with yeah, it. Yeah, there's no way I would be able to take care of that. No. no. <laughs> you if I know see me. you, it'd be like a hard line like in the middle of your head, and I don't want that for you. So. Yeah. <laughs> no one wants that for me. <laughs> a good balayage moment mm -hmm. with the pink, mm -hmm. a little cut. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look fabulous. Okay, I love and this. It's gonna give you that pop star fantasy look. Oh my god, that you're love so this. ready for. Yeah, and I'm. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I. Uh, I was. I, I wanted to do this before I filmed my music video. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, I'm doing like a whole thing. I've been working mm -hmm. on this song for. Oh, okay. But I just wanted to like fully redo my look before the video, starting yeah. with the hair. Woo! I'm so excited to be part of it and I'm so grateful that and you're a part of it. Let's I'm get like, started, yes. shall we? Let's do it. We're just gonna a little chopperoni just to get us started here. Ooh, this feels so good for me. Oh my god, you can actually run your hands through your hair now. Oh my god, that's so different. Because before, I would run my hands through my hair at it the would end. Get stuck at the end. Well, and at the end, it would just be like this weird desert storm. And, and I was still, just like... It's still a bit there, but... I mean, people are like, are you... Did you fall asleep in a toaster? And I'm just like, no, that was last year, okay? Oh. Ooh. Oh, this is giving me life. No, no, it's giving me life, oh too. Oh my god. I mean, I haven't gotten my hair done in like over a year. But yeah, okay. I love the hair. We're getting there. I chopped off a bunch of shit. It already is like, I feel so much cleaner and smoother already. Just like Bro. freeing. That hair was holding you down. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start your color now. Yeah, so I'm not, I don't really stop therapy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. We're gonna start your color, and your cut is looking already so much better. No, your hair I just cut off of your head. I know. I like went into it being like, oh, just a couple inches. I just kept going. Like, like it to be oh done. my gosh, like literally, this sorry. is all like this feels like it came from the desert. Girl, it's literally like. <gasps> life been. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loaded question. No, no, no. I, I know mean... you always have crazy things going on and a lot of things and a lot of wild stories. Actually, what's your number one most wild story from the past year? Basically last year, I just felt like, oh my God, all my dreams are coming true. Everything's happening at once. And so in particular, there was this one week that was like the craziest week of my life where the song that I've written called Don't Kill Yourself, You're Too Sexy. It went viral, that song. Right? Yeah, it went viral. Don't kill yourself. You're too sexy. And I was like, whoa, like, this is good. And then last year, my friend Eric, who's the CEO of Carrot, it's like the credit card company for influence yeah, yeah. or whatever, was like, yo, do you want a Times Square billboard? It's like part of having the card. And I was like, uh, hell yeah. If I'm gonna have a Times Square billboard, what's like the most positive message that I can spread? And of course I thought, don't kill yourself, you're too sexy. And it was like, awesome to go to Times Square and be like, holy shit. Like, then I hosted this party and then I'm in the bathroom to like, you know, to do some fun stuff in the bathroom. Because I, because I, I love just going to the bathroom randomly for no reason at all in the middle just of the party. Just spending a little time there. As I was having that fun time in the bathroom, I get a message or an email for like one of my agents being like, hey, like you're invited to the Kanye Genius premiere. And I was like, wait, that's so awesome. Of course I want to go to that. They're like, yeah, but it's like in LA and it's like tomorrow. That means I have to go like literally right now. And this is all stuff that my friend was telling me because I was actually blacked out while this was happening. And then I wake up actually on the plane back to LA and then my friend kind of fills me in on what happened. She was like, don't you remember? Like when we were blacked out of the thing, you were like manic and you were telling me that like, we're going to go to the Kanye thing that you would sneak me in as your assistant. And I was like, well, that does sound like something I would say. <sighs> we get back to my place in LA. It's the afternoon or whatever. And we have like a few hours until the Kanye thing. And I was like, fuck, I'm so tired. The only way I'm going to be able to get through this is if I put this little square of paper in my mouth for no reason. <laughs> we get there and I'm feeling really good and really wavy gravy. But I didn't know Kanye was going to actually be there because similar to me, he's very unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> the screening is cool and then Kanye comes out and surprises everyone in the screen. I was like, oh sh Kanye's here. That's surprising. And I was like, wow, I'm so glad I got to see Kanye from like a hundred feet away or, or, or whatever. I walked in the after party and Kanye is like literally right there, like five feet away from me. I was like, holy fuck. I was just really nervous the whole time and he was kind of like, can you stop talking to me? I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, and he didn't say that. I could feel the vibe and I was like, okay. <laughs> So yeah, that's the time I met Kanye with a little square in my mouth after having a don't kill yourself two sexy times square board. <laughs> that was like 24 hours. It was like 36 hours. And for those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't, fuck me. For those of you who don't know. Gladly. <laughs> Bend over. She used to work at Google. I was uh, this thing called a UX researcher. Like at Google, they'd be like, Kai, what are people doing? And I'll be like, they're looking at porn. What do you think they're doing? <laughs> and they're like, cool. Well, what are we going to do about that? And I'm just like, I don't know. Like, like make it more like that. Well, so I cannot imagine you in like a corporate meeting. I mean, I was very like miserable because I was pretending to be someone I wasn't. I was just You're doing not. something that I hated yeah. and working in an industry that I didn't like because I was too scared to like pursue my actual passion, which apparently is making butthole jokes online. <laughs> <laughs> How has your journey been on? Online. So I started TikTok um, in the pandemic. So like beginning of 2020, and then I like exploded in five months. I still had that like Google grind in me. So I was like waking up every single day at like six or seven, doing a workout, like out, like running along the Hudson River or whatever. And then just making as many videos as possible from then until midnight it was gradually growing. It took me two months to get my first 10K. And then after that, it was like 10K a week. And then after that, it was like 100K a week. It just kind of exponentially snowballed. And then once I hit 1 million in May, um, I did the step chickens thing. Basically, I started a cult online where I was like, everyone changed their profile picture to a photo of my face, and it's called the Step Chickens, and it's based in this skit that I made called What Are You Doing, Step Chicken, which is like a trope thing where it's like, what are you doing, step brother? And it's like two chickens, and it's like, don't worry, it'll be just like doing it with a rooster. Like, I won't tell mother hen, like, I'm 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 way more viral than I expected. And I thought that maybe like a couple thousand people were gonna do it. And then it was like millions. And then like a month on the app, everyone had my profile picture. And I went from one to 2 million followers in like a week and was like in all this press and got like signed. And yeah, it was just really crazy fast. And I think I'm only now beginning to process that moment because after that I was like, oh, it was just a lot. And I got caught up in like the excitement of like just the sudden fame or whatever. I'm chilling for now. <laughs> Melissa, you never cease to amaze me. <laughs> I just finished the blonding portion Hell of the yeah. program. I'm gonna just put some darkness between these foils. You have really good dimension in between. Hell and yeah. And then way back, once you have a nice blonde palette to work with, we can start applying that pink color. Dude, f yes. Yes.
Hi, you guys. Melissa, are you awake? Are you there? Barely. <laughs> barely. I was very energetic at the beginning. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself, then I wouldn't. <laughs> Bend over. Um, and now I'm gonna pass out. That's okay. Just, you feel differently sometimes. I love yeah. it. We're yeah, just having you... a relaxing moment, just finishing the color. Oh, finally. I think this is Brad's first time ever seeing me <laughs> relaxed. relaxed. Yeah. <laughs> Literally ever. Yeah, it's just, um, and it's only because I'm tired. <laughs> your color looks so f good. You're just gonna die. Like I'm really is, excited. It is I, really different what you walked in with. I mean, I've always wanted like to do the pink hair thing. I just never pulled the trigger because I was like just making excuses, and now I'm like f it. I just want to have pink hair now. We put our new color Rodolite by X Mondo in your hair, and it is so bright, extreme pink, but it's a very cool tone pink, and it's mm -hmm. gonna look so hot with your skin tone. Okay, I love this. Ugh. I love this for me. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm, I'm gonna be my own little black pink. I'm microdosing <laughs> my own black pink. So we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes. We'll rinse it out. I'll finish up your haircut. We'll style your hair, and we'll show the finished results. Ooh, okay. I'm let's, so excited. Let's do it. Well, hello, Brad. Hi, Melissa. I'm down here. <laughs> I'm not moving my head. <laughs> wow. Your color looks sick. Like, this is a huge change for you. I'm actually interested to know what your hair means to you. I feel like my aesthetic is very important to me. Even though I'm inhabiting the body of an Asian girl, in my mind, I'm like a genderless amorphous swamp demon creature <laughs> anime character. Like, I definitely feel different. It's like, oh, when I have straight hair, I feel like this. When I have curly hair, I feel like this. And to be honest, I was just getting sick of my reflection. You know when you're just like, Bro, you see the same that. hair over and over again, and you're like, oh, I'm so over this. I need to totally do a new thing. And your aesthetic has changed dramatically. So much. Like, so much. How would you describe your old style versus the new style. Oh my god. I mean, I just felt, kind of felt like I had to conform to like this life I was living because I was doing the like, yeah, I'm like in my early 20s and I'm living in Manhattan and I'm working at Google. And so I kind of was just doing the like what everyone else was doing where it's like, okay, I guess I'm just wearing all black mm -hmm. and doing what everyone else is doing, which is what getting microblading lash extensions in a manicure every two weeks. Like what? I was just doing the uniform thing. And I also was like, well, I have to wear stuff that's going to like, you know, be okay for work and then for late, right? But now that it totally doesn't matter and I can just do whatever I want. I just was like, wait, what do I actually like? And then I just kind of exploded into the like the sex anime <laughs> demon goddess and I love it. I feel like you genuinely don't give a f what people think of you. I would say I am selective with my f and I don't get my self-worth from other people's opinions. Like mm -hmm. I just have inherent self-worth. You know, I used to care about what other people thought of me, but I only cared about what they thought of me because it impacted what I would think about myself. Mm -hmm. And it was just because I was insecure and I was letting other people's definitions define me instead of me defining myself, which is a really way to live. Like if you wake up every day and you're just worrying about what everyone thinks of you and feeling about yourself, like that's just not sustainable and then go through life. That's what I'm trying to live, girl. I am about to start styling your hair, but I'm putting in our Recalibrate Bond Building Cream in first because your hair just went through a lot of bleaching. Mm -hmm. We gotta make sure it stays nice and healthy and looking fabulous and shiny. So we're gonna put this in. Mm -hmm. And then I put a little force field heat shield in your hair. Mm -hmm. So when you're at home, make sure you're protecting this hair, putting some cream in there to moisturize okay. and a little bit of Viper smoothing oil, which is gonna obviously smooth your hair and make it even shinier and like glossy. So, all right, I'm gonna start blow drying and- um, Blow me, baby. You guys will see the final look. <laughs> blow me until I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Melissa. Brad. It has come the time where you get to see your entire new look and your hair looks incredible mm -hmm. like top five favorite makeovers ever really top you look, five you look dramatically, really you look dramatically different well that I'm, top five is a lot coming from you wow I'm so excited to show you i'm so excited to see it i've like literally always wanted to have my hair pink and i just never did it up until now let's turn you around in three two one one oh my god Oh my god, 
Wait, who am I? You? I literally look like a Marvel supervillain. When you told me black pink, I really said, girl, I'll give you black pink. Oh, I, I'm like, literally speechless. I'm literally like speechless. It. It's perfect. Uh, like, I'm choking. Like, I'm just, I, 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 this is what I needed. I just wanted to like, talk, like I've had the same hair kind of my whole life. Yeah. You wow. Came, okay. You came in with this warm chocolatey brown, and, and it was, this, it was <laughs> transformed it into this very contrasting balayage, rhodolite pink color, and it looks almost too good that it looks natural. No, no, it, like, like it, I'm like, am I like an AI anime? <laughs> I feel like I look too good to be like a real human right now. I'm just like, oh, am I like an anime? Doesn't the color look almost fake? It's like unreal. Also, we were skeptical as to whether it would work because I had all the sun in my hair mm -hmm. um but you're you're you it was a little tricky yeah <laughs> I don't, I don't lie. you had some orange banding you had some yellow you had some white not to mention it was just very dry like when you cut off all the hair it was like oh that's a dead animal that's roadkill yeah. uh that's a tumbleweed and I'm afraid the new link and the layering and you like never also just like that. no I just feel like my hair is actually alive now I just feel like I just have dead hair weighing me down this is so much better because I was so sick of just seeing my same like weird brown tumbleweed hair every day <laughs> and now this is totally different and i actually came to new york because i was having a mental breakdown and now i feel really good <laughs> I feel right? really good all you needed was a hair color change that yeah was it. yeah Cut color style and mm -hmm. you're back it really works thank you so much for coming in thank today. you for i mean i was the one who begged you to do this so um <laughs> we've, we've been trying this for a long time you look just amazing normally i'm not this speechless like normally i have a lot to say you, you're talking a lot right? okay <laughs> okay fine you got it oh i love you <laughs> no i love you thank like, you for coming in thank you for transforming me oh, that was a long day but it was very worth it like that end result i'm gonna be dreaming about it for the rest of my life stunning i hope you guys like the makeover as much as i do and if you want to check out any of the products i used in today's video they're all linked right down below or go to xmondohair.com that is all for today thank you guys for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye